I'm Bia. I'm based yeah. in New Zealand. I'm not a Kiwi. I'm Brazilian American. I somehow ended up here. I uh, love it. Uh, what do I do? I am yeah. a sexologist and a masturbation coach. Teach okay. people to come home to themselves, to their bodies. Unlike Beautiful. Brett, I don't have kids. I have a lovely partner, a camper van. Freedom is yeah. my thing. I travel a lot. I like to make life as easy and simple as possible. possible. But it wasn't yeah. always this way. Yeah. So tell yeah. us, like, before <laughs> you found us, like, what was life like for you? What were mentally, where were you struggling? It was awful was because I, I just have no, there was so much to do. Yeah. And I had just regained my energy after two yeah. years of, of feeling like crap. And it was yes. this overwhelming of like, oh, I have to do this. I need a new website. I, need, I don't know how to write copy. I don't know how to do this. And I need to do that. And money is not coming in anymore. And I would start a lot of projects and I'll never finish them. So I had them all like to, up to 80, 90% completion, but I'll never finish anything. So I had it like, I'm like, right, I'm going to do this now. Like shiny object syndrome. And I'm going to do that now. And oh, and that, oh, that's such a great idea, but never yeah. fully completing anything. And when I, yeah. And when I did, I would just wait till last minute and I would get really stressed and then I would just hate the thing in the end and be like, right, I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. So it was really hard, very chaotic. I was in survival mode. I had a lot of discovery calls, but it would never close clients. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And it, it was really a struggle. Yeah. Like financially, I was, uh, you know, my, mentally, I was super stressed and overwhelmed and even though I knew what to do I couldn't do it yeah. and financially super broke and, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. feeling like I'm, I'm gonna be broke forever because I know what I need to do yeah. but I just can't get myself to do it and then how like what was your trauma like what like was it anything you thought it was gonna be yes so I yeah. actually okay. have been doing some work for a while and so you um, knew, you knew your trauma ahead of time Ish, ish. Okay. I knew okay. it was related. So okay. my, when I was a, a baby, so my parents um, had to go to work. So they left my brother and I, and shout out to my brother who's on this call. Yeah. We were left with the nanny. Yes. And, um, and the nanny, she used to hit me. And I had that memory come up in a, a meditation a few years ago at a retreat. But I didn't really know what to do with that information. And so yeah. having the breakthrough session, allow me to go back to that moment and the meaning I gave to to the moment that I was being hit when I was crying to have my needs met so I had just pooped my diapers and I was crying yeah. because I was yeah. wet and everything that unfolded from that so imagine at six months old and um, yeah. I'll be 40 this year and yeah. so my whole life I've been in that survival mode of like oh my survival is painful so therefore I'm just going to do enough to get by and that you know when, and looking back I see the way work like money works for me is that right if I have a lot of money that's to that threatens my survival because if survival is painful then I I would take time off and I'll travel or I'll quit jobs and I would run out of money I'm like right I need money now so now I'm gonna work right and then get money again and then boom and that was so you breaking. saw like how it all connected like yeah. how like that trauma created that way of being is like yeah. the, how the dots connected. Wow. Yeah. Right. And then really processing through it. And so on the other side of it now, what has been your results since? I know, you're only, <laughs> I know you're only five weeks, so it's like you're not done and all of that. But what what has been the yeah. results that you've created since this well, time? Well, so since yeah. the breakthrough session, you haven't asked the question yet about the finances, so I'm going to tie that in because I know that's the next question. Sure. I sure. had no money to join this program. I actually reached out to my brother and my partner and see if they, they would lend me money. And they're oh. both like, nah, this is just like another program. Yeah. And no, sorry. And I'm like, but I want to do it. Like, this speaks to me. I want to. And I had $5,000 to my name. And wow. I contacted Michael. I said, Michael, I, yeah. I want to do it. I'm like, I'm a hell yes, but I can't afford this. And he says, well, you know, you can do a payment plan. And so I said, I'm all in. The credit card wouldn't go through. And I had to tell the credit card. I was like, oh, you know, I was like, the universe is saying no, but I'm saying yes. And the day I, I, the credit card went through, the next day, I sold my first ever coaching package for $2,000. 
And I was like, it's so fun! <laughs> Look at that! And like after right away. Yeah. The next day, within 24 hours. Yeah. And and then I just started getting more discovery calls, and they started converting. And it was February 1st, so just a few weeks ago. And I'm like, great, it's February. Where's my money? I have to pay for this course. And then I had that within three days, I made a thousand dollars. And then the following week, I closed another two thousand dollar coaching package. And I was like. I don't know what's going on, but this is clearly working. <laughs> and, and so awesome. now I have clients. Uh, so I'm nice. actually making money. I have completed a project. I, I said, right, I'm all in with the project. And I Beautiful. finished it. I just wake up with energy and purpose. And I have things to do. And Beautiful. because I've always known what I had to do, but I just couldn't get myself to do it because of yes. my trauma and the blockages mm. around that. And mm. now that I know that I'm safe and no one's going to punch me and that my survival is, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Like I, there, there's no pain involved. Every yeah. day is really, yeah, my days are so full and full of energy and, and even joy in showing up instead of like, oh, it's a short to do social media posts or oh, it's, oh mm. I can't do this. It's more like, even though I don't know how to do this, I'm willing to learn. And I'm willing to to ask for support. And that's what I love about the program is that we have a, a, a chat that we can ask for help. And a, a few things are coming up for me, like my my need to be right. And I'm like, oh, okay, there it goes again. Or here is my need to rescue someone, and I and I catch myself in that. And so since the breakthrough session, it's been really wonderful to. To, to have the awareness of yeah. my behaviors because before there were you know, I was an autopilot and now yeah. I, I see how everything is makes like sense and ties together I, right yeah it's yeah. kind of like having a veil in front of me yeah. and all of a sudden it's like oh it's lifted I, and now you see yeah. everything yeah I love that yeah. I love that. That's so huge. That's really huge. Like, like a really first one. Let me acknowledge that. Like, acknowledge you. Like, you're freaking crushing it. Like, crushing it. Really, really, really crushing it. 